The Virginia Tech Hokies and the Cincinnati Bearcats met up in Annapolis, Maryland. Both teams tried to walk away with a bowl trophy, and one did. WHSV Sports Director David de Guzman has the recap from Annapolis. David. Thank you very much, Alexis. Well, the theme and the mission this week for the Hokies was to win for Frank Beamer. He was able to rejoin the Hokies after recovering from throat surgery, but he was limited up there to the press box, which means that his son Shane Beamer had to fill in for him. And in front of the second largest crowd in military bowl history, Shane Beamer said that it felt like Lane Stadium out there against the Bearcats. The great part about bowl games is all the pregame festivities. This is the second straight year that the Military Bowl is taking place at Navy Marine Corps Stadium. 34,277 fans packing the venue, most of them Hokies fans. Both quarterbacks sloppy early on right after Cincinnati's QB throws a pick. Michael Brewer hands it right back to the Bearcats. Zach Edwards with the INT. Seven plays later, Gunnar Keel finds Chris Moore for the score. Cincinnati strikes first thanks to the 31-yard touchdown, the first of two TDs this afternoon for Moore. But then the Hokies answer back thanks to J.C. Coleman getting inside for the score. The first half saw the running back go 47 yards, just the start of a big day for the junior. It was also a huge day for Joey Sly, who hit four field goals today for the Hokies. This one before halftime was a 49-yarder. That's a career high. Tech goes into the locker room with a 13 to 10 lead, but the third quarter was the big one for Hokie Nation, starting with this connection from Brewer to Ryan Malik. Remember, Brewer transferred out of Texas Tech, and in the final game of his inaugural season with the Hokies, he goes 14 for 24, and that touchdown. Then there was this incredible play here on Cincinnati's first drive of the half. Gunner Keel sacked loses the ball. Nigel Williams recovers the fumble and advances it towards the end zone. Then he loses the ball, but don't worry. Greg Stroman helps a brother out, gets the ball over the goal line. It's one of the crazier plays you'll ever see. Virginia Tech taking a commanding 27-10 lead. The Hokies never look back. 33-17 the final score. Hokies crowned Military Bowl champions and Shane Beamer leading the team to victory as the Hokies win for his dad. Frank. It goes back to the whole organization, Bud and, and Scott, and, and like Coach Foster said, I mean, the whole group has just been awesome from day one. And, you know, my face was in, in front and kind of the lead guy here this month, but it's the whole group together. It just speaks, I think, to the whole program, and, and everything's been business like this entire month, and, and today was no different. Defense made a couple of really big plays. Special teams gave us some good field position, and, and we got a few things going on offense. We were able to run the football, kind of eat some clocks. So, um, you know, like I said, good team win. I'm doing it for Coach Beamer. You know, um, he, he, he wasn't able to be with us the entire time. Doing it, sending the season out, uh, sending the, se the seniors out the right way. And um, it's just it's huge for us as a team. Well, J.C. Coleman rushing for 157 yards and a touchdown, earning him Military Bowl MVP honors. This win giving the Hokies some momentum heading into the offseason as Virginia Tech looks towards 2015, where they hope they can do better than 7-6. and six. In Annapolis, David Guzman, WHSV Sports. Sunday is week 